Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So? I can hear her scratching her litter box. Vic will be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. Hmm. Whoa! One minute, 13 seconds! Vic did all her business in one minute, 13 seconds! You are awesome! And I can do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Three hours, 45 minutes? He's never stayed so long in his litter box. I can't believe it. Do girls realize that Sam is going to beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds. You just beat your record. Way to go, amigo. Yeah. Back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest. Hey, darling, it's me. And who's the big package for? It's for Sam. Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam. With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being. And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. Amazing! The Las Vegas Electronic Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom! Uh, again? Sam, you just spent exactly 3 hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet! It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty! Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom! Come on, Sam, I'm sure it'll work just fine! It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty! It's super complicated! There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing! Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box! Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. No, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. <sighs> what if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what? You missed the hole? <laughs> way, way worse. <laughs> I didn't do anything. The living stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I had to unzip the back of my costume. And if the living stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Right. What are you doing here, you little rascals? <laughs> oh. Good dog. That's the alarm I installed for Sam. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. 
Ah. Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <coughs> what happened? Are you all right, honey? <gasps> Sam doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom? With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Why, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. There. Can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But what? I'm a cat. What about feline honor, you know? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Livingstones are going to find out if you don't wake up. It's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Voila! Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> At least no one will see me up there. Hey, what's he doing? What? You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? That sublime French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. It's impossible for me to find a quiet place. The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season. There are crowds everywhere. Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to I go. I can't hold it in. I'm going to use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you gotta do something. Of course. Listen, we're gonna dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the elf's bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after having- Wouldn't it be having... a whole lot easier to just turn off the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Ow! Nick, I'm begging you. Your litter box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Hmm. Nick, wait a minute. I've got something for you. No means no! What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but where's Sam? If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. Meant? Uh, no. What about forever? Uh, okay, it's a deal. You can use my litter box, but just this once. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. <laughs> Come 
contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter box, oh. which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes. Right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody know how to get out of this thing? Oh, rat! Sam is stuck! How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops. Maybe that wasn't the right button. <laughs> ah! Ah! Whoa! This is the best invention of all time! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's up, Wash? Aren't you having breakfast with us? I oh, didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, <laughs> denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That granny cupcake is such a sweetie. <sighs> and here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Living Stones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Oh, no! Oh, that's ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just our new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats! Whoa! You're going to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave. We're in danger. <laughs> you 
see, Wash? There was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. She even knitted us a hammock. I just love Granny Cupcake. I swear she's hiding something. Believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash, I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. <laughs> Uh, Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, Wash, and enjoy. Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to rummage through her stuff on my own. <laughs> she has to be hiding something. <laughs> Right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double! Ah! Hmm. I told you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying, because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. <laughs> right. So, now, as you are going to see, I have been on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed. Who would ever suspect them? No one. Especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> and now, who would like some vitamin-powered kibble? Courtesy of the government. Yeah! You are going to need to be in tip-top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents! I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Agent Washington, what a surprise! Sweet dreams, buddy! Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. Physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun. Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together. Oh, yeah. Well, then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and no, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is... She has to sleep. Cats are indeed fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep. <laughs> and she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But, but that's, that's horrible. horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> we can't leave without 
without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. <laughs> North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Washington. Oh, no. It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. Uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there! Not so fast, little guy. If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh, no! Not the pound! Well, then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Great idea! Oh, I forgot to tell you. This box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. <laughs> Things don't look so good, do they? Yep. We're trapped like a bunch of rats. Yee! What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill and the cat food trick? Ha! <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic. Well, what? I just love cupcakes. Ha! Huh? Ah, the mailman! Hmm. Bye -bye, Bye -bye, Granny Cupcake! Oh, just look at that. How cute they are. We'll be there in just a sec, darlings. <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So cute. You know, sometimes I wish I could grab onto a kite and go floating in the sky. Huh? Huh? You okay? You heard it all? No, I'm all right. You're all fried, more like. Never fear, little sis. Sam the firefighter is here. Was that lightning? That didn't come from the sky. That was Eugenie. You sure? <laughs> Eugenie still has all that electricity from the cloud inside her. She'll get over it. What a shame. I always dreamed of having superpowers. Uh, say, guys, I think it's time to get inside. <laughs> Eugenie, whatever happened?
happened to you, I don't want to know. All I want right now is for you to steer clear away from me, okay? Whoa. What a killjoy. A ball blows for no reason? Our hair stands on end? The TV goes haywire? We must have a polterbeast! A polterbeast? You mean poltergeist? Yeah. A spooky ghost thing? That's right! Lock all the doors! Turn off the lights! Call the science police! I want every test possible! Honey, look! The TV is working again! Uh -oh. That's weird. It's like it's coming from you, GD. Time for a visit to the vet, maybe, don't you think? When their program ends and they see Eugenie is still electric, the Livingstones are bound to take Eugenie to the vets. We have to find some way of de-electrifying her. I got an idea. Seeing as you're the smartest guy here, maybe you can find a solution, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, Sam? The solution's already in the bag. What is it? What is it? This is gonna be fun. The electricity in Eugenie's body comes from the sky. On that, we agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it arrived in her body via the kite line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if we want to cure Eugenie, the electricity has to go back the way it came. So, how are we gonna do that? Kite again so that the electricity zaps straight back up the line and into the sky. Well done, Susie. Wash, you're a genius. Oh, come on. Not only will that plan never work, but what's more, it's plain dangerous. Eugenie is more likely to get zapped by lightning like she did last time. Why? Well, you know, nature. You know nothing, Victoria. Don't listen to her, girls. Ms. Know-it-all here was just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah, if you believe Ms. Know-it-all, the girls aren't even allowed to fly kites because kite flying is too dangerous. <laughs> I cannot advise you strongly enough not to listen to that silly fox and your knucklehead brother, Eugenie. But Vic, do you have a better solution? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Higher, Eugenie! It has to hit a cloud! That way the electricity can... Maybe we can't say the same about you. What, that I'm a lightning bug? No, glowing and bright. No need to panic. It's just a side effect. It was all part of the plan. You'll soon switch off, Eugenie. However, we do have to make sure that the living stones don't see you like that. This time, it's an emergency. Pulling out, let's go. <laughs> was the visit to the vet part of your plan too, Wash? Suze, go look in the window. See if my strategy's going as planned. As planned? And what exactly did you plan? Well, I was hoping that everything would turn out fine. What is that glowing object doing in my clinic? Think I'm some kind of electrician or what? It's a rabbit, Vladimir. A rabbit who was afflicted with a rare disease. If you manage to cure it, expect glory and the Nobel Prize, no doubt. Aha. A very interesting case of acute rabbit lapis radiantus. Is it serious, Doc? How should I know? I've never heard of the disease until I saw this rabbit. But do you think you can do something? If it was a living room lamp, I could unplug it or remove the batteries. But here, what we have before us is a rabbit, do we not? Leave this with me. I shall keep her under observation overnight. I will see what I can do. Your plan is not working out as you expected, Wash. He's going to keep her overnight. But that's perfect. That means we'll be able to operate by night without anybody seeing us. By daylight, the mission would be way too risky. But with Eugenie beaming like a lighthouse, we're sure to be spotted. No! At night, everybody's in bed asleep. Come on! 
There's no switch, no battery compartment. This is beyond my abilities. Uh? Use this do it yourself electricity manual. You have the night to read it. Remember, the Nobel Prize, Vladimir! <sighs> it was much more fun being a rabbit than a bedside lamp. She's not there! Oh, no! He must have already discovered she's a wild animal. He sent her back to the forest. Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Besides, lambs do not run off in the middle of the night. Isn't that right? At least we know where she is now. Alarm activated. That'll stop you from running away for sure. <laughs> What's gone and done that? Huh. Uh, I should have listened to Miss Know It All. Huh? Vic! Okay, I admit the alarm was not part of the strategy, but I do have a plan B. We dig what? a tunnel right inside the bedroom. Forget it. You only had to take the right ventilation duct. Stop! I've never seen a street lamp with rabbit ears before. My lamp! My Nobel Prize! <laughs> that way, it's a shortcut that leads straight back to the Livingstone's house! Okay, okay. Anyone can make a mistake. Some more than others. Oh, look! There's a light in the street! Oh, no! I'm sick of being a bedside lamp! We have to conceal Eugenie so the vet doesn't see her! But, Wash, if we touch Eugenie, we'll all frazzle! It's the only way, Sam! <laughs> you stopped glowing! You're right! You think I'm cured? Yippee! <laughs> What's happening to us, Wash? When we touched Eugenie, we must have picked up the charge. In the name of the law, I arrest you. Where is my lamp? I'm sure I saw it here. No sweat. Cut them off. Wash, do you have some kind of plan to get us out of here? Maybe a better plan than last time? On the count of three, we go in for the hug. One, two, three! Wait for me! So, what are you gonna say to Wash the Genius? I confess, it was a pretty bright idea. <laughs> Huh? Hey, you're not asleep? So tell me, if Eugenie zapped her electricity to us and we zapped it to the vet, who's he going to zap it to? Sam, the main thing is that we're all here together. All four of us, nice and warm on the Livingstone sofa. Let's get some shut eye, okay? Mm. Look, honey, Eugenie's back and she's been cured. The vet must have brought her back and was kind enough not to wake us. He really is quite something. If you want my opinion, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize. Bad news, Mr. Livingstone. Your rabbit escaped. Escaped? Not at all. She's here and she's doing great. Do congratulate Mr. Vladimir. He truly is a dazzling man. Dazzling is the right word.
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Abracadabra! <laughs> what? How did you do that? <laughs> it's just a scam. It's obvious. A scam? What scam? There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic! Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists. My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything. Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. Say. He must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna conjure myself up some magic shut-eye. Abracadabra! <sighs> Who are you gonna try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens, we got Vic. Yeah, it's true that Vic sure does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm gonna magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you gonna use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're going to make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super-duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! <laughs> Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure. With pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. Mm -hmm. If we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. <laughs> we can make our flute from this. Hey, it's the sculpture I made in art class. I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing. You found it, honey. I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living Room, huh? <laughs> Wash, how are we gonna find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Ah. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. 
Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing! Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is going to be good here. Yeah! This will be better than anything ever. This magic flute is awesome. Say, let's give it a go. <gasps> Whoa! What in the world is that? It's a magic flute, Play-Doh. Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> What on earth? <laughs> ah! A, a boar! boar! What happened, Wash? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. Ah! <sighs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> That stuff sure smells weird. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. Yeah, of course, anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that boy. Like with Wash's flute. Maybe we're not playing the right note. <laughs> uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the bigger and the fun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Yeah! Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Weren't we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? Uh, I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> it's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <gasps> it really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? Works on people on the TV too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? Hmm. It works even less than in the yard. They haven't even reacted. In my opinion, it's because the show is pre-recorded. You're right. I'll find another show. As this footage shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works. Here, our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Gee, wait for me! <laughs> Get your earmuffs on, Sam. Shh, your 
we're gonna wake up the guard. Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down! I know! It's because he wants to play! Come on, boy! Punch! There! That got him! So, but... I think thanks are in order. Wild animals? In my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here! Five, four, three... The costumes, Wash! can I do for you? After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. <laughs> what on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. So, what's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute, I've nearly finished. Here we go, system activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard! What's a smart home whiz head? No idea, but I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System, your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served! No! Oh. Wow! You haven't seen nothing yet. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! <laughs> yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go! Nature sound activated! See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <sighs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. OK, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? <laughs> ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> Uh, sorry. Yeah! I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? 
Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. Nanny, I got it covered. It's okay. I found it. Tropical scape activated. Wow. Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit. I'll sort this out in no time. How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. I think my costume's melting, Wash. <laughs> Alert! Toxic matter detected! Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five, four, three. Quarantine complete. Uh oh, quick, hide! What was that alarm? Never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Oh. Come here, you sleepyhead. Uh oh. I think we got a tiny problem. You know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh no! No costumes, no kibble! <laughs> Stop! You'll wake up the whole neighborhood! But what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply, everything is gonna be fine, and let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage, I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But you gonna open up? You disconnected, I'm gonna jump! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on! Big button on the wall! 
Situation critical. Remote control disabled. Contacting owner. Get inside that house, but where's Sam? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us, Susie? We've lost her. There's no network. Mm. We have no choice. We have to get inside that house now. On three we go. One, two... Wait, wait, wait. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. went crazy! Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified! For sure! I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week! Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that uh, then? Um. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. <laughs> Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, that was just to get you out. <clears throat> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? 
I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fuck. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> Is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you. If that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or, rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! Yeah. Flies, perhaps, but flies who love me. <laughs> you and I are going to get rid of those flies. Quick! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Mist. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. If those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast.
brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to... Well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Hey! Someone ate my dinner! Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah, yeah your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> We have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of the... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. Well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. If only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. Let's go! Where are we going? We're abandoning the flies in the forest so that they can't find Sam. Hey, that reminds me of a fairy tale. Faster! Faster! They're gonna catch up with us! Hey, how about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hey, didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Uh. Help me, my beloved flies! That bear wants to separate us! Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Again, promise Sam? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Goodbye, darlings. I'm going to miss you so much. Honey, we're only going on vacation for a few days, you know. But we were supposed to all go together, Mr. I forgot if animals were permitted at the yoga retreat. But I've stocked up on kibble and they have the yard to stretch and run around in. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. See you later, alligators. <laughs> and have a great vacation. What's a vacation? Think about it, Sam. If they're supposed to be great, then it's surely something to eat. Like candy they've hidden around the house. Yay! Vacations! Where did they hide the vacations? <sighs> Boy, you guys are dumb. <laughs> this is a vacation. Whoa, check it out! Humans without their costumes on. Wash, do you think we could have a vacation too? Do they exist for animals too? Uh, yes and no. Vacations are first and foremost meant for humans who work all year long. It's their rest period, if you like. And since as cats, we spend pretty much our whole lives resting, it's kind of like we're on a permanent vacation. Speaking of which, <sighs> it's time for my nap. Ready? <laughs> A nap without them around, the ideal vacation. Get it, get it, get it! This, Eugenie, is the result of years of hard work 24-7. And sometimes, you know, I just get so tired. Hey, what if we went on vacation? Yeah. Didn't Vic just say that cats were always on vacation? Real cats, perhaps, but not you, Sam, nor me, nor any of us. We work just like humans by disguising ourselves and meowing and barking. We work hard as actors every single day. Of course, Wash is right. Yeah, we deserve vacations, too! Yay! Vacations! vacation, you have to leave home. Look. Wow! That makes me want to take off and fly, too! Oh, uh, yeah! Why don't we go to a cool place like that? Without our costumes? Way too dangerous. Right, so whose turn is it on the ironing board? Yeah, I'm staying put. It looks like too much work. Away from here! <laughs> oh. Look, Wash, it's vacation time. Everybody has left. The neighborhood is empty. All right. Okay, we'll go. Yeah! <sighs> Alone at last, and the TV all to myself. Since the actor Juan Carlos has gone on vacation, your favorite soap, Sentimental Hospital, will not be broadcast this week. What? No! Ah, walking around without any clothes.
clothes. Awesome! What a great idea taking a vacation. By the way, where are we going? We've got to find a super place, a dream vacation, paradise on Earth. I've got an idea! Uh, yeah, right. Not enough sand. Not enough water. Ah, no way. Reminds me too much of the forest. I found it! Follow me! Hey, what the heck are those bums doing on our turf? Whoa! Wait, this is even better than my wildest dreams. All that's missing is the roast chicken. Ta-da! <laughs> Good move, Sam. of savages. Yuck. Boy, talk about a dream vacation. Hey, this is our vacation spot. So get lost, you bunch of hicks. Hey, chill, guys. There's room here for all of us. We can get along like civilized animals, can't we? You? Civilized animals? Bunch of savages, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. This is a vacation spot for city animals. So if you want a place to relax and vacation, <laughs> find something in your stinking forest. Go oh, on, get lost. <laughs> Who do they think they are? We live in this city, too. And we were even here before them. Yes, so they're the ones you have to leave. What do we do now? Go home? Are you kidding? We're not going to get chased out by a bunch of silly raccoons. I didn't want to resort to this, but since they're treating us like a bunch of savages, we're going to show them what real savages are really like. This place is ours, so get out! Have you guys looked in a mirror? Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> No, I just don't understand. Usually when we do that, it scares everyone to death. Maybe after having imitated household pets for so long, we've totally lost our touch with our wildness. Yeah, yeah, get lost! Yeah. Otherwise, I'm really gonna lose my cool. Go back to your dunghill, you bunch of hicks. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the forest. <laughs> Remembered what it was like to be a real savage. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Stones! Sam! The Living Stones! They're coming home! Now we've got to get home quickly or put on our costumes! Sam, if you keep this up, we're all going to get sent back to the forest! Well, life at the Living Stones is almost like a vacation, actually. I got a bit carried away. No hard feelings? Hurry up, Sam! Those guys are completely wacko! Bunch of savages! <laughs> hey, sweetie pies! Where are you? Too late! We're goners! <laughs> I'm warning you now. The next time, you're on your own. Hurry up! They're coming out! Ah, there you are! You don't know how much I've missed you, my darlings! I couldn't really go on vacation without you guys! So we're all going to the beach together! <gasps> I just have to finish loading the car! Thanks, Vic, but, uh, say, is it like because you missed us so much that you saved us? Huh? Say what? what Me? No way! Are you nuts? Really? Oh, that's so cute! Hey! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. Mm -hmm. oh. Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? What, are you kidding? This is awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Vic, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. 
Pretty classy, huh? But Sam, you're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. Mm -hmm. I give him ten seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. Gosh, <laughs> are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! Yay! Let's go! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he left even the dogs in the Left even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the second. Glory be to Samses the second, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samsies the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samsies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samsies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samsies 2? No, it's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this will have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Hi.
there's this other bozo snoring. Enough already. Ugh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? <laughs> <laughs> Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramid. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Ah! Honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <laughs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the Millwater Board, not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Living Stones made a mistake! Do you really huh? think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long! <laughs> uh -huh. mm. <gasps> you, lots of action. It's a suspense. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring! What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, 
What if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV all to ourselves. <laughs> OK, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. <laughs> No! No! Uh. <laughs> Sam! Sam! Hey, what? You're the one who swallowed the ring! Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. <laughs> the cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Oh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? <laughs> Did you get the ring? Did ya? Look! My favorite toy! It's amazing! I was sure it was lost forever! <laughs> that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Everything okay in there, Susie? Good luck, little one! Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy! You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach! You uh, will what? Awesome! Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful! Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! All right. Oops. I'll continue looking. <laughs> We're here, Susie. Quick, hurry up. Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. 
You know very well that I hate the X-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back. My precious <laughs> ring! Do you understand? <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, uh, very well then, uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and, but, but Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have uh -huh. to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir, uh. let's go set up the x-ray machine. <laughs> Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> so? Nothing! It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah! Uh, right. So, uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Hi. You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma? <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button. And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So? Uh, did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? <laughs> Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ah, what a beautiful day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You. Stop. <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah. Oh, no! Sam! Sorry, Wash. Don't worry. It's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens I'm an expert. And now, all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. Beauty time, everyone! <laughs> First one here gets to choose the present! <laughs> 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 I win! <sighs> it's impossible to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan Hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog, capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. Huh? <laughs> I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. No stones! stones! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room! Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready! Quick, Wash! They're here! Be extra careful, Wash! Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. Mm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Right. Oh, 
Okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's a lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy! Go on faster! <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad! I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? Hey, <laughs> you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me. And tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me. Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh... But then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red crab! Hide the gold again! We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him! That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey? That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. So how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter. I am so proud of you. There he 
Yes! <laughs> yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hotel Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap. Wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive! What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? Pfft. Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. The narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. You will be the king of disguise. <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog. Oh, one thing I'll say. You sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> when it comes to making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof, 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 woof! Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking, okay? <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? They're coming. Balls in your court. Woof, woof. Is that box there yelping? Puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Boy, am I ever annoyed. You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Oh, honey! Look what Washington found! What cutie pies! <sighs> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing! 
We're going to take great care of you, darlings. You must be starving. I'm going to take care of that on the double. Hello, yours are the little boys. Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. Yeah, I know, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. I'm so happy the Livingstones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out. Well, uh, I don't think so. We're going to stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah. Somebody's got to eat you, Ginny and Susie's kibble, too. Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now you're going to take off those costumes immediately. You're just jealous because we're the queens of the sky. For sure. And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true. They are a bit weird, but... That's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Ah! Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So unfair. I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. I warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Uh, well, she's, uh, uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she's disappeared! Uh, uh, <laughs> we're the worst children brothers in the world! Napoleon and Jean-Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. What? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. Uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the king of disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Genie? Susie? Oh no! We got 
you're too late. Alfie and Gracie have already eaten you, Judy and Susie. I'm the worst big brother in the entire universe. Don't be ridiculous. Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's gotta be some other explanation. There. They're in the toy box. <laughs> Like Sam, them. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, uh, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, 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 what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars. There are stars on the box. Loads of them. Look. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Shoot, an acorn with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. <laughs> Oh, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday. I completely forgot. Don't you realize? No, not those two imbeciles again. I absolutely have to go see her. Huh? She'll be so disappointed. I only want to give her a big hug. Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry. I refuse to let you go alone. I'm your best. You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest. Really? Uh, 
Okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Hmm? Wash, someone's following us. Nuh-uh. What are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever Dude, you're... Behind the bush! It's Mitch! I know it is! Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> What are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, sir. <laughs> the quicker we find catnip, the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. <laughs> Don't we know each other? Hmm? Recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, yeah. Never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go wee wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, <laughs> I recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> You? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're gonna love it. See you later. What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Wait, action! Wild animals! There are wild animals around here. So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild. Ferocious. Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Quick, we gotta hide! What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on! We're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. Ah! Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? Mm -hmm. I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo. Aw, washeroo as in Washington? A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad. His name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? Oh, little washeroo. Still happy with 
nightlife in town. Well... There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news! But let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two Lottie da house cats? Yeah, no, what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. Mm. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <laughs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. Mm -hmm. You see? Poof, you got it wrong. Wash had a date with the girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait uh -huh. just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstone's house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie! We're the town folk, us! But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But... It isn't even catnip! Come on! Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with the girl. <laughs> We're back! <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for good <laughs> ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? 
got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Huh? It's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure, I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for. Uh, there. Furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about. Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa, these ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila. Meow, meow, furry comfy. Exactly Be what bad. we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. <laughs> you have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow, did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm -hmm. I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Wow! Yeah, yeah, you guys are awesome! Whoa, you guys are heavyweights. Oh, yeah, you look amazing with those. <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah? More like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're going to go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on. You've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck, and you'll be perfect. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez, how super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? Mm -hmm. And now, this month's Top Ten Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to- Hey there, guys! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> We absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. Hey! Stop everything now! Tattoos, they're for life! Uh. 
teenage rebellion, John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life. Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pound. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. Ah! Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? Hmm. Ah! I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, what is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. <laughs> ah! yeah! That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle is flown away! No doubt about it. These are the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now too. 
And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. Thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the alien. Thank you, you too, too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey? Oh. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website, and I oh. won my weight in toilet paper. Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. Yeah. A whole weekend alone. Awesome. <laughs> this is going to be the longest weekend of the year. Yeah, we can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> Straight from the forest floor. Really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time, it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time, I found the instructions. So everything's gonna be hunky-dory. Phew! It's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time, you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. What am I gonna do with this? Hmm, you could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a bird disguised as a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy a TV, TV marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! wow. 
So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of the small flying dog that has gone viral on social media recently? Is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, you're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? Oh. <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, sounds like it's coming from the garden. <laughs> it's Professor Jones. He's coming to get us. Quick, head for cover. <laughs> Owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good. I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. Huh? What do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back! We can't stay in the house! You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> when he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm. That flying dog will never escape my clutches. <laughs> Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting-edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Come back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! Dog is mine! Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl! Again! Mm -hmm. Let's go! We're the only ones who can save them now! <laughs> Yay! Susie! Target defined. House cat. A vulgar house cat? <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo- <laughs> hmm? uh, You'll see if I'm a real dog or not, Wally! Give me that little book! Susie! Come back! It must be a trap! <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! 
Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> what are we gonna do to save Susie? And where's Sam disappeared to? <sighs> I must have died and gone to heaven. What? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot! What fantastic specimens! They must be mine! Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors. <coughs> Sam, it's me! Quick, we gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives! Phew! Huh? Susie! So, do you wanna stop being a rabbit, Eugenie? Oh, yes! This thing open! How about this one? What on earth is going on? Oops. How about this one? <laughs> it's only me, Sam. Okay, that's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew. Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> a fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. All that effort for nothing. Uh, a flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! Ah! How dare he call us mundane? Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Uh, oh. uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove! I've always dreamed of being a bird! I can fly! I never thought you guys could sink quite so low, but looks like I got it wrong again. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on, hut hut, everybody out. Boy, how annoying, just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Smelt? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch. Gotcha, Sam. Well, you were saying, Washington? No, I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say, you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there, and besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. yeah. The house is the other way! 
Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> A dog could never replace my GPS. <laughs> Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip! I'm guided straight there, no ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same, unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> my dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> Lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. <clears throat> Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. Uh -oh. What am I gonna do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. <laughs> uh, okay. How? <gasps> Just look for a cable and pull on it. Oh. <laughs> Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PBS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 808, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, 999, 1,000! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Yeah. I don't know 
what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh-huh. Just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I get an idea. The rappers. Phew, we made it. Now all we have to do is wait for them to show up. Despite his weird face, his sense of direction will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hm? Uh-oh! There's something wrong! What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy! Sam! Yeah. Uh. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash. What have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. You don't my understand what went wrong. Maybe GPS. a big, greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> yeah, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. <laughs> 